chapter on evidence that Islam of one who becomes Muslim on his deathbed is valid, so long as the death throes have not begun. Abrogation of permission to supplicate for forgiveness for the idolaters. Evidence that one who dies an idolater is one of the people of hell, and no intervention can save him from that. Sa'id bin al-Musayyab narrated that his father said, When Abu Talib was dying, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, came to him and found Abu Jahl and Abdullah bin Abi Umayyah bin al-Mughira with him. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, O uncle, say La ilaha illallah, a word for which I will testify for you before Allah. Abu Jahl and Abdullah bin Abi Umayyah said, O Abu Talib, will you turn away from the religion of Abdul Muttalib? The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, kept calling him to Islam, and he repeated this statement to him, until the last words that Abu Talib spoke indicated that he followed the religion of Abdul Muttalib, and he refused to say, La ilaha illallah. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, I shall pray for forgiveness for you so long as I am not forbidden to do so. Then Allah, Most High, revealed, It is not proper for the Prophet and those who believe to ask Allah's forgiveness for the mushrikun, even though they be of kin, after it has become clear to them that they are the dwellers of the fire. And Allah, Most High, revealed concerning Abu Talib, and said to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, Verily, you, O Muhammad, guide not whom you like, but Allah guides whom he wills, and he knows best those who are the guided. Footnotes 1. The verse It is not proper for the Prophet and those who believe to ask Allah's forgiveness for the mushrikun even though they be of kin, after it has become clear to them that they are the dwellers of the fire, is from Surat at Toba, chapter 9, verse 113. 2. The verse, Verily, you, O Muhammad, guide not whom you like, but Allah guides whom he wills, and he knows best those who are the guided, is from Surat al Qasas, chapter 28, verse 56. A similar report as hadith number 132 was narrated from Az-Zuhri with this chain, except that the hadith of Salih ended with the words, and Allah revealed concerning him, and he did not quote the two verses. He said in his hadith, and repeating this statement, and in the narration of Ma'mar, in place of this statement, is the words, and he did not seize. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said to his uncle when he was dying, Say La ilaha illallah, and I will bear witness for you on the day of resurrection. But he refused, and Allah revealed, Verily, you, O Muhammad, guide not whom you like. Footnote The verse, Verily, you, O Muhammad, Guide not whom you like, is from Surat Al-Qasas, chapter 28, verse 56. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said to his uncle, Say La ilaha illallah, and I will bear witness for you on the day of resurrection. He said, Were it not that Quraysh would shame me, and say, It is only fear of death that made him do that then I would have delighted your eyes. Then Allah revealed, Verily, you, O Muhammad, guide not whom you like, but Allah guides whom he wills. Footnote 1. The statement, Then I would have delighted your eyes, means made you happy by saying it. 2. The verse, Verily, you, O Muhammad, guide not whom you like, but Allah guides whom he wills, is from Surat Al-Qasas, chapter 28, verse 56.